creative individual I'm looking for is one who possesses like four key components. One, they take on a learner's mindset. I need them to understand that no amount of Grammys, no amount of billboard hits, no amount of years in the game grant you to know it all. So when you're in this class, you're adopting a learner's mindset. There's one instructor, there's one facilitator on this ride. Think about when you're in a car with a bunch of people who have their license, only one is at the wheel. That's a fact. So no one's trying to discredit what you do or don't know. But when you're in this class, you are here to learn. So that would be my first component. My second component, is that your mind would be open. Having an open mind means that you're abandoning social media outside of that door. You're abandoning your issues and your stresses outside of that door. You're abandoning your fears and insecurities outside of that door. You're also abandoning all of those things that you just know the way that you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're abandoning judgment. Right. Uh, it's necessary to learn. I guess. Just like you don't take all parts of, let's say, a mango or or a banana. You don't eat it all. It's all still called banana, but there are parts that you eat and parts that you leave. You know, or when you go to a, a party, you have hors d'oeuvres. You take the things that appetize you and you leave the things that don't. So. When you come into the class, you keep an open mind that just because we don't all eat the same food, it doesn't make you less of an eater than me. You know, you consume less right. than I consume, you know what I mean? You, you just have an appetite for different things and I have an appetite for different things. So that's keeping the open mind, understanding that just because we're different doesn't mean one is right and one is wrong. Uh, and you don't have to be mean to an opinion that differs from yours. You know, you can hear it and not have to, well, I think that's nice. Remember, go back to rule one, you're a learner here. So it's great to know what you think, but in openness, they can think whatever they want to think. Two, that's number two. Number three, I'm looking for individuals who recognize uh, that balance is not key not epic, but there is, is all there is, you understand? All these tall buildings that we, we see out here, each of their foundations is as deep as they are tall, because outside of that, they would topple over. You have to have that balance. These trees, as high as they stand, and as strong as they are, is as wide as their roots have to hold on to the earth. So that just like when old boy was on that tightrope, you're not sitting there beholden to the wind. And if it moves a certain way, then you're gone. You're done so, you know? Balance says that as much as you are heightened and ascended, you're all into your seventh divinity chakra, <laughs> is as much as you need to be into your number one rooted founding chakra. The higher you go, deeper I'm praying that you're growing as well you know what I'm saying so balance this whole entire series is going to uh, you know, require you to subscribe to the idea of balance in everything that I'm saying and everything that you're learning and then finally I need open hearts and understand that everything that's said is coming from a place of love and positivity and I know that because I'm just cut from a cloth of love and positivity. Sometimes my love sounds harder than a motherfucker. Sometimes my positivity is just remaining silent. All because I'm looking at a situation and recognizing that if I can't bring value, if I can't add one, 13, or a thousand to the situation, then I would rather add zero but I never want to take away. I never want to add negative four. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Even in, even in adding negative one, you're taking away. You Simple know? math. Yeah, yeah. So 
everything is love and positivity and if it doesn't add value then I don't I don't say it but sometimes for certain people that they're used to always being right if they're used to knowing everything and you can't tell me nothing if they're used to being the H and I C just because you try to tell them something even something out of love and they'll think